I'll join me in singing Angels from the Realms of Glory. stand. The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the first chapter. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the half of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favorite one, the Lord is with you. But she was really troubled and, at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive up in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom kingdom there will be no end and Mary said to the angel who will this be since I'm virgin and the angel answered her the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the most high will overshadow you therefore the child to be born 
will be called holy, the son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old, old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked on the humble state of his servant. For behold, from now and all generation will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great, great things for me, and holy is the name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their heart. He hath brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble estate. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his offspring forever. This is the gospel of our Lord. Let us proclaim uh, our face with, a, with the word as Apostle Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, the Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. Third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence we will come to him. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the Church. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you for your gift, O oh Lord. Oh, please stand. Gracious Lord, we adore you because you have come to us in the past. You have spoken to us in the law of Israel. Have you, you have challenged us in the words of the prophet. You have shown us in Jesus what you are really like. Lord God, we adore you because you still come to us now. You come to us through other people and their love and concern for us. You come to us through men and women who need our help. You come to us as we worship you with your people, Lord God, 
We adore you because you will come to us at the end. You will be with us and at the hour of the death. You will still reign supreme when all human institutions fail. You will still be God when our history has run its course. We welcome you. We seek you, O oh Lord. Bless us in this glorious season of Advent as we await the birth of the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, Jesus the Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, let us all pray the prayer you have taught us. Our Father, who is art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forget us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us. precious and honor and honor it to be here first speak in English because as you know I speak Spanish better than English but um, I'm I'm feeling really really good because the Lord is guiding me with his love with his mercy, with his gracious name, Jesus. Um, the last, uh, my name is Ricardo Mendez. Um, I am preparing in the lay deacon program um, for the Peace Lutheran Church. Uh, we have um, a, I, I, I told we have because my congregation is Hispanic, you, my, my, my beloved wife is here. The other people, 
that are not here because they are still working. But um, they are with me by heart. Um, uh, we have a study Bible on Monday at 7 o'clock. All you are invited. If you want to, to learn Spanish or if you want to teach us English, <laughs> it's a good deal. Last week, um, the deacon Mark Grew was talking about Zachariah and Elizabeth and the first uh, midweek sermon of Advent. Uh, the beaker, beaker uh, rational Jean Jack. <laughs> it's going to be the next Wednesday and the, the third sermon. And my honor to, to share with, uh, with all you guys um, the second, um, the second midweek Advent sermon called Fear Not Mary. Oh, let's pray. Our oh, Father, your love, your love is great. It's bigger than, bigger than our needs. We are here in the name of the Jesus Christ. And you say when two or more are meet, um, meeting uh, in your name, you are here. Oh, we, we should be glad, happy, because we are more than two people right now. And Jesus is here. Amen. Fear not. From the Gospel of Luke, the, the chapter 1 to 25 to 38 and 46 to 55. Saint Luke described in our gospel reading in chapter 1, 26, the angelic visit to Mary. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed, engaged, you know, betrothed, engaged to a man who was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. The sixth, the sixth month referred to the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy. You remember last week? Uh, our friend oh, and deacon Mark Rue spoke about Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth. Uh, let us... Um, Explain some some words here. Um, the word angel means a messenger, a messenger of God. The angel introduced himself as Gabriel. Gabriel means the one who brings good news from God. A virgin. A virgin is described in the Holy Bible as a woman who has now committed impurities. In those days, a few months before getting married, the couple signed a, a marry, marriage commitment, like a contract. Uh, this was done so that the husband could dedicate himself to preparing everything necessary for his new home, without fear in the woman changing her mind. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> and Saint Luke uh, records the meeting with Mary and the angel in the chapter, verse 28. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favorite one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of reading this may be. The Lord is with you. It's a common Jewish greeting. When the Israelites wanted to encourage a person and assure him that wonderful things were going to happen to him, they say, 
the Lord is with you. St. Luke continued to describe the meeting in verses 30. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son. And you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the houses, house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom, there will be no end. No fear. Do not fear. It is a phrase that is repeated many times in the Holy Bible. Addresses to the people that God choose for his great good works. Tonight, I encourage you to let you know that God has many things good for give to all, all other people. And I say you, do not fear. Do not fear because God God's with you and will help you in everything. Do not worry. And Mary was one of them. She has found favor with God. Grace. Grace is the greatest of all of God's God, God gifts. Both natural and supernatural. That the, he gave us out of, out of his mercy. It, um, it, I want to remark here, it is available to us because of what Jesus did for us on the cross. Not because we have earned it. We haven't earned it. The name Jesus means the one who saves for sins. Because he has come to save us sinners and to pay our debts before God. Look, now record Mary's response to the angelic visit. And Mary said to the angel, how will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing, for nothing is, will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold. I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according, according to your word. And the angel departed from her. This is a question that every human being asks. How can good things uh, happen in my life? How can my serious problem be solved? How can the person be cured? How can God become a man? Become as a man. How can he save us? And the, an and the answer is undoubtedly because nothing is impossible for God. Tell the other, tell the other, because nothing is impossible for, for God. Tell your neighbor, because nothing is impossible for God. That's, the, that's the amazing. The second part to this answer is found in the most extraordinary reflection of Virgin Mary. I am the servant of the Lord. May what you say be true to me. This is an invitation for all of us to accept God's will. 
God's plan and to accept God's message through the scripture. May I question for you all? My question for you all. Kill me. Which is easier? Giving someone the responsibility of doing a task or receiving the responsibility of doing the task. Which is easier? Give a favor or receive a favor? They are just questions to ponder and at the moment the Son of God became man in the most holy womb of the, Bir of the Virgin Mary. Great day and a thousand times blessed in which God came to live among us. Thank you, Lord. We give you for having assumed our humanity to save us. God so loved the world that he gave his own son. His own son so that the world might be saved through him. As John the third, 16. Now, look to record what has been come to be now as Mary's son prize of the of or the magnificent. And Mary say, My soul magnify the Lord, and my spirit rejoice in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble state of his servant. For behold, from now and all generation, we call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is, the, is his name. And his mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud of the throw of their heart. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of humble state. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and, um, and to his offspring forever. In her famous song of praise, we see how Mary rose above the drama, the fear, and the anxiety of the risk of her death for being pregnant, teenager, without a husband. Look at this. Mary rejoiced, and she is filled, filled with courage, knowing that she is in the hand of God. Her gaze does not fixate on the magnitude of the responsibility that she had to carry the Son of God in her womb, but rather, with humility, she advanced and faced everything, every challenge to fulfill the will of God. Mary will grow and learn and suffer for more as her son grew fulfilling his purpose and sacrificing his innocent life in order to save the world. His death was a victory which set us free from condemnation. His glorious and victorious resurrection sealed us with protection and power to overcome the passion and pleasure of this world as well as the fears and threats against us as people of faith, people of God. Because of Jesus' work, sacrifice, and victory, you and I also are highly favored by God. The Lord Almighty is with us. Therefore, we also, like John Mary, rise above the drama of the trouble, worry, and temptation, and advance with reverent humility in peace, and confident that we are in God's all-loving and all-powerful hands. By His grace, we will trust in Him, and we will live according to His purpose and plan, in accordance with His mercy and love. Amen.
I pray that each of you, when faced with a challenge to share the good news of Jesus Christ, can face it without fear. Just like Zachariah last week and tonight, as displayed by Mary. May God bless each of you this Advent season. Amen. Oh, please stand. I'm going to read this. Bit. But this is from my heart for you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Go in peace and serve the Lord.